Oh my gosh, on my way into the bathroom, I saw a shadow go across, and now I'm like, all spooked. <laughs> don't be, don't get worried, don't get worried. I didn't color my hair vivids yet, you didn't miss that video. This is just, we gotta get through this in order to do that video really quick. It's all stuff that I got for fun for the videos. So I actually need to open it before we do the vivids. I was gonna open it with you guys because I just wasn't feeling good. I'm like, that'll be a good pick-me-up. I don't remember really much of what's in here except for the one main thing that I got. So it's just kind of fun because my memory is so bad. I ended up being sick for hours and hours and it it's like I, I woke up and decided to choose love and positivity as my choice of weapon for the morning and my body woke up, chose violence and its weapon for the day was my stomach. Like it was just the most intense cramps. I literally, uh, and just so you guys know, if you guys ever have stomach problems and intense cramps, it might sound goofy to you guys, but, but dead serious, this has changed my life. I can't remember when I learned this, and you guys might already know this, but like, you know, the kind of yoga-y, downward dog, you get on your knees to put your hands. I know this is a... I understand what it might be in your head, the what you're picturing, but I'm serious, get in that position. And just kind of lean forward and it. it's going to help your stomach cramps. It's the only thing that saved me. Uh, it just, But just hours, you know. And we don't need to get into details. Even if it's not stomach problems, I'm sure. A lot of you understand what, you know, different cramps are. So like whatever you're going through, that position really helps, I, I believe, for all that kind of stuff. But either way, it, it didn't matter what I wanted to do. I wasn't able to get to this. But it all worked out because now we're opening it. And we're going to have a video that'll hopefully make us all loosen up a little bit before I put in these vivids that are glaring at me from over there. I'm so nervous. I'm like excited but nervous, you know, because I had a plan, a, a kind of an idea of what I was going for. So we'll get into that in the next video, which is going to be soon. Don't worry. I'm hoping to have it out by Friday as long as life just cuts me break. I know one time my technology decided to be just so rude to me. And it took an extra day. So, uh, but fingers crossed, the universe is on our side. And you guys will see my vivids on Friday. Because, you know, I like to let it air dry and give it a day before I finish my videos. So don't worry. But we got to open this first. What perfect timing so that we, you guys can all just maybe have like a midweek break. And just kind of shake it up a little bit. So let's open up this bad boy. And let's all see what we got. Because... I bought these things with you in mind as well. I'm like freezing and hot at the same time. Love it. In case you're wondering why I look like this, which I always look like this, so maybe you're not wondering and you're just hanging out, which that's awesome. I almost peaked, I don't wanna peek. Look at me, I'm getting all Indian style, getting all comfy. I'm excited to open this with you guys. So you guys ever like, um, just trying to get out of your own head and you'll start organizing, going through stuff in your room. You'll end up sitting there in the middle of a mess wearing things you haven't seen since, I don't know, high school or, or just goofy stuff. And uh, you're just sitting there and you, you feel good and you had a good time, but you didn't really accomplish anything. That's kind of what we're going to do right now. It's really who want to just like get rid of all this nervous energy and just be so unserious. So that we can go into the next color video, just optimistic and, and whatever will be, will be. It's like a, it's like a Katy Perry song in here. I'm high and I'm cold. Yes and I know. Well, I got my backup sweater. I don't know, man. Go through the motions. I'm having good practice for menopause. Let's open this stuff, man. I need a lap. It, you know, honestly, this is perfect because my daughter is turning two. She's got awesome sleep regression. So what better way to celebrate life than just have fun goof off? Not that this is what I'm doing for her birthday, but I'm saying the week. Let's let's all celebrate life. Let's try to like snap out of it and have some fun. I had to uh, go run across the house right when I started opening this, and uh, I feel like I got hit. I feel like I got hit by like a tranquilizer dart. I swear. I was like just. I was like, everything's in slow motion, man. Woo! Trust me, if I could go to sleep, I would. But unfortunately for me in this time of the day, it's not an option. So we're going to power through, guys. We're going to power through this.
we're gonna power through while having fun. I mean, like, I'm just so glad I saved this for today. Out of all the times I thought I really needed to pick me up, I feel like Tuesday. So, all right, we got our first thing. Got this little, like, kind of video thing for my phone. You guys can't see the one I'm using now, but it's just like a little cheap $5 one I got off Timu a while ago. So this one's interesting. It's got like a little microphone and a little LED light. And it's just kind of like a little short one. So this will be cool. It didn't cost much. If you guys want, um, this, this video is just for fun and stuff I got for us to have fun on some of the videos. If you guys want this description down below, I'll put the uh, pricing on some of this stuff. It's all off Timu, but if you guys are curious how much some of it costs, I'll throw it down there. I'll open this and get it set up and then we can see if the microphone makes it different in this video so that I don't ruin our hair coloring video. So that'll be nice. I'm not good at opening stuff. I always destroy it, even if I try not to. What's all in there? I think it needs batteries. I don't know if you need the batteries for the microphone though, because it plugs right into the phone. So I'll let you guys know if I get this hooked up and up and running so we can see the difference on the video. Moving on the new hair colors I got from Sally's in the video right before this which hi guys welcome back I'm just like I'm just so excited I'm just jumping right in if you guys are new to my channel and you just want to hang out and just to take a load off of your mind go ahead and subscribe hang out with the rest of us if you want otherwise hey <laughs> hi the rest of you because yeah the hair colors we just got in the Sally's video right before this are glaring at me I cannot get this open Oh my, oh my lord. You guys want to see what I'm dealing with? <sighs> this is what I get for trying to do things alone. No spoilers. We can't look on the other side of the box. But it's like the tape, the tape on here is ridiculous. No, I didn't grab my scissors like I was gonna. Come on. The thing, okay, I know, I know what that big box is. I don't remember a lot of the other stuff, but I do remember I got this for the camera. I'm gonna put this up. I decided when I started taping this that I'm gonna try and use every single thing I bought in here. In this video, that's what I was hoping would make it fun for me. Okay, we got, ooh, oh no. We got a plumping lip filler. What's this? Ooh, I got something called Creature of the Night. Matte liquid lipstick. <laughs> this looks awesome. I know I don't wear a lot of makeup and everything, but with you guys hanging out, I wanted to just kind of have fun and try some different stuff since I don't wear a lot of makeup. I'm like, well, I still am curious. I still love that creative side of things and I still want to have fun. One of you guys mentioned like make uh, the mermaid makeup and how people, when we were doing the wig video and you guys said that the, the hair net for the wigs, a lot of people use that to do like mermaid makeup. So I was like, you know what? That sounds fun. So, and <laughs> I know a lot of people are biased about Timo, but for stuff like this, uh, I couldn't help it. So I did grab some like kind of fun makeup so we can just do some fun stuff, you know, just, just tired of being so serious. I'm in the middle of my life. I've woken up. Uh, I used to take a lot of things for granted and feel sorry for myself. And you know what? It, it's a new time. It's time to try something different because I've been doing that for you know, half of my life and it's time to start the other half. So whether it's a bad day or a good day, I'm over it. I'm tired of weighing myself down. And I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna, I know we're all gonna, but for the majority of the time, I'm gonna really try to just stay on this side of my life and really just accept everything that's happened and, and just keep growing from it. But man, is it hard. So anyway, it's fun, right? This was really cool. I have no idea what color it is or anything. What else we got? Ooh! Fuck. You can tell what mood I was in on here. And they're acne patch stickers. Wow. wow. My whatever my son gave me his little acne patch. Oh, it says be your star. At first I thought these were just little stickers that people used to just so that you don't have to see the zit, but I guess they actually are supposed to have acne medication. They were really cheap, so definitely a little nervous, but this was cute. Avoid contact with eyes, discontinue rash, blah, blah, blah. Lots of different, like a whole bunch and a whole bunch of different colors. And they were so cheap. I had to try it because my sons were like super expensive and I don't want to use all of his. Let's see, what color do you guys want to do? There's black, pink, green, yellow. We'll go black. I guess we're going to find out when I start coloring my hair if this made me break out. Is this a little bow? 
Is this a little better? I can't do accents. Speaking of accents, my daughter called me mum. <laughs> Those are fun. We'll see. I'm honestly feeling so much better. If you're someone that stumbled across my channel and you're just utterly confused at this package opening, then I apologize. <laughs> but I really hope you stick around and, uh, and hang out with the rest of us. And if you don't, that's okay too, because I understand everyone's different. But if you're still watching, then thanks. It doesn't have to do with the video, but like we have a really old house and I'm just struggling with all the drains and the plumbing. So I'm trying to stop as much stuff from going down the drains as possible, especially with kids all different ages. What, 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 what. You got something to say? Makes me want to color my hair like that. Gosh, I'm trying to use nail clippers to get this open! Oh, mother... Uh, ooh, big old box! This is what I actually went on there and ordered in the first place. And then I added on a little bit of the fun stuff. Little cheap fun stuff. You know what this is? It's really cheap. It was, uh, I think, under $20. But it's a, it's a tall... Ring light stand for my videos so that, you know, in the last bleach, bleach video that I did recently when I went through step by step and the camera was kind of lower and I was trying to get angles for you guys. Well, this should be a game changer, but this is cool. It's going to give us some good angles, dude. I'm so excited about that. So it's like, I don't know, 10 inch or something. For me, this was super exciting. I've been working with just my old cell phone in this really tiny like four or five dollar just little stand so this is just gonna be really exciting for me and easier for me from having to do a lot of it in the three-way mirror and this is also gonna be a game changer for our wig and hair cutting videos where they'll move around a little bit more in here so like yes and when I looked on Amazon they were like so expensive so I mean I know everyone's biased and I say all the time about Timo and I totally understand I get it but I'm telling you for me on a budget this makes me so happy you guys are laughing at me opening some of this stuff and being like, oh my gosh, she lives under a rock. Like, where have you been? This stuff's been around forever. Okay, yes, I was living under a rock. I barely climbed out three years ago. So just, just uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I have a whole lifetime to make up for. Oh my gosh, cool, look. I got a neon, oh sorry, you guys probably wanna, don't, I know, don't. Don't mind me, I do the same thing if you guys are staring at my hair because we're going to be coloring it like literally later tonight. My hair's crossed up Friday. So don't feel bad, I'm staring at my hair too if you see me glance up because it's kind of like in the back of my head staring at me that I'm going to be completely changing her. God, I got a little nervous thinking about it. It's alright. I don't normally get nervous. Ah, save that for the next video. Anyway, so neon lash mascara. It's colored mascara, which is cool. I don't wear mascara. I've been trying eyelash serums. I noticed that over time my eyelashes they've gotten really short. You know I think just with age you know and I've never really been much for mascara because every time I'd wear it yeah it just seemed like my eyelashes would take a beating and I know there's a lot of different kinds and I do you know if I'm going somewhere which is very rare you know like maybe a God, I just don't do much anymore. There's that rock again. I've been living under, uh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. I think you get the point. Coming out of that shell, though, that's why I'm doing this stuff and buying this stuff with you guys. Uh, but a lot of it, just like foundation, I just don't use, because I just, my skin hates it. So that's one of the reasons I don't wear foundation. I just try to do the acne stuff. I just, I told you in a really old video that my, uh, my cousin's girlfriend, when I was still living in the Midwest, wanted to kind of do like a makeover. And I swear to God, my mole, I, I went home and the foundation, like, I don't know how this is possible, but my moles were like not there anymore. It's like almost like it ate my mole off my face. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't even look like myself. And I actually got really upset. And like a few days later, I had moles again. So I don't know what, what it did, but all I know is foundation does not like me. And that's fine, just like all walks of life with people. If somebody doesn't like you, that's that's fine. Maybe just oil and water and move along. So that's my story with foundation. I'm not a hater. And uh, I think everyone that can do all that is, it's all absolutely awesome. But me, I'm gonna do the best I can and just have fun with stuff like this. So uh, so, I, I'm kind of, so I'm a little biased on mascara, but come on, it's it's neon mascara. I have some rollers for, when it's, for some of my videos. 
and just some like cheap clips. I realized when I was gonna go do my hair for something that I didn't have any rollers and they're, they're just heatless, you know? These remind me kind of like the beauty school days. It comes with the little clips. Just wanted something a little easier than rat tailing just because you know how my hair and the integrity of my hair, I just, I just don't thrash on it like I used to. I'm sure we will from time to time, but like you guys know if you subscribe that we're trying to get this past the clams at least one more time in my life and as long as I can go. So I'm kind of like have a little inner bet with myself to see, especially now that I moved back where it's really hot about three years ago. So uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to manage without chopping it off, but I'm gonna, we're going strong. We're going good. It's been three years. I haven't chopped it all off yet. I get so frustrated with this packaging and then I realize if you find it, you can just pull, pull it up. So these are fun. Come with little clippies. I'm making such a mess in my little office. Ooh! I'm not gonna lie, in the picture I thought this was metal and it's plastic. <laughs> but that's Timu for you. <laughs> little flimsy, but I don't I don't mind because a lot of the, a lot of the prices for this stuff I do on purpose because I do thrash on some of my equipment. So it's nice to have stuff that you don't have to stress out as much about. So this is awesome. I'm glad I got this. I like this cool little like rounded handle here. It goes through good. This is cool. I'm not gonna lie, you know, the, the Dollar Generals and stuff used to be like, oh, I'll go grab a comb there, but that is not, that is just not the case these days anymore. So I'm out of practice. Practice. <laughs> One of my most dreaded parts of beauty school was shampoo sets, man. You sit there and you put all these curls in it and you put this, you know, the, go the goopy stuff in it and then you let it dry. And then you brush it all out just to rat tail it, just to get it all big. And yeah, and they looked awesome, but then we had to like brush them all the way, <laughs> we had to brush them all the way back out. <laughs> Oh, no, not my thing. Yeah, we got our little clips. These are lovely. I, I was kind of hoping to find clips that when you put them on, if you're clipping, when you're coloring your hair, it's not going to leave an indent in the hair color. I don't think that these are for that. I thought maybe they were double-sided, but no. But still, these are nice. I'm not upset. <laughs> I'm trying to have fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are for me and my daughter. She won't let me do her hair yet, but honestly... So they had like these and they had like the little rubber bands. I needed to get these for sectioning and I figured also my daughter's turning too. She won't let me do anything to her hair yet, but it's pretty curly. So these will come in handy for more than one thing. I try, I don't normally buy these the little rubber bands. I honestly saw this vet show where the cat or whatever had gotten into some hair ties and eaten them. And then I think the dog got into dog floss or dog floss, got into dental floss. It was really traumatizing. It wrapped around in, inside of there. I, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to go graphic, but anyways, I try to keep these contained because that like, gave me like a really irrational fear. So I also ordered some of uh, the tiny rubber bands that's coming with the uh, hair swatches I got. I was gonna surprise you guys, but I'm already keeping one surprise from you guys by not telling you what hair color we have yet, so. So there, hopefully that evens out, evens out the universe. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just doing what I would do if you guys weren't here as I'm opening stuff because I like to play with stuff when I open it. How in the world did I end up on holographic stickers? But I did it. I'm so glad I did. These, I actually have a pack of Corgi stickers from like a year ago because I love Corgis. But I thought these would be fun because I forgot about three years ago that I was going to bedazzle my cane or spruce it up a little bit. Just like on... on Dr. House, there's an episode where his cane has his cane with like flames. And he's like, it's to make me look like I'm going fast. <laughs> but I actually forgot, let me know if you guys want to decorate it with me. I just, I just thought, I guess this isn't really bedazzling, but these are fun. They're just like holographic stickers, but I didn't search for these. It just knows me so well. It knows I love the rainbow. I got myself a little ring. What does it say? I can't remember. Keep going. Yeah. This is for you guys. Cause you know that's why I got it. Put it on. Oh, this is for you guys.
Well, it's not going to let you see it, but I guess you know what it says. I just thought, I saw it, it popped up, and I thought, you know what? Yes, let's all do that. I've gotten one of these for my aunt as a bracelet a long time ago, but I just thought this is just going to be a good reminder. Boop! Let's keep going. I needed a new brush. A cheap, affordable brush. I go through them so bad. It, look. You know with long hair you guys got these. And it just like they get, they, like brushes get to a point where I'm just I'm done dealing with it. So I'm glad that I could find some cheap ones on here. It's like a little thing. Why? I feel so stupid. Does anyone know what this is? But here's a little brush. It looked bigger in the picture. But I needed a different one. Hmm. Well, uh, it's all right. It's causing some static cling, I believe. Yeesh. <laughs> Feels like I rubbed a balloon in my hair. It is what it is. I needed it. We're, we're at the bottom of the barrel. Okay, this is fun. I just, I guess, another thing to help us with hair. It's like an interesting a rat tailing comb. It's got the, you know, that these are good for the texture kind of going like that and giving some volume. And it has like a clip, clip built into it. I want to say I got this because it popped up and it reminded me I've seen ads for these somewhere. Okay, so you can use it to section your hair or you can use it to looks like rat tail it and then you must just, just be able to clip it in your hair. Like this way and then it would clip in and then the comb would go down. So it is another way to hold your hair in. Hmm. I'm sure this will make more sense later, but it, you know, fun. I forget I'm the one that cleans in here, so I guess I can just throw all this trash on the ground. It's starting to get too cluttered. I used to not care about these kinds of things. Ever since I got health problems and stuff, uh, I've really had to force myself to have like a, an organized chaos almost. So it's definitely every day I'm changing things up. It's this. Oh, eye eyeshadow. Usage, smearing lids. It's like I got a extremely black eyeshadow. It's just interesting what it came in. So, uh, I said I was gonna put everything on, but I don't think I'm gonna open this right now. It feels like Christmas. It's an eyeshadow, but look at the drawing on it. This reminds me of one of you guys. I think you know who you are. As soon as I saw her on here, I'm like, you know who that reminds me of? Hi. <laughs> Cute. I'm a sucker for packaging, I'm not gonna lie. I remember buying this like shampoo because it said something with unicorn and that no leprechauns were harmed in the making of it or unicorns were harmed and I, I like the packaging. Okay, this is adorable. <laughs> it's a little, I remember now, I got like a kind of green-based eyeshadow case just, just to have. Cause I don't really, you know, like I said, I have a lot of makeup. I thought it'd be nice to have. Look at how adorable this one side is. Nice. It's so cute. Aww. So that's pretty. Those are pretty. I actually don't have, oh, this is great. Get all this makeup into a pile and then I'll throw that on. Cause actually I think we're done here. Oh, this, you guys, I can't tell you what this is. This is going to be a whole video in itself. I got that because I see a lot of women use it, and I didn't know what it was. Then I saw it on team. I'm like, oh, that's what it is. Well, I have to try that now. I have to, I have to make a, got to make a spectacle and try that. So I just, and then another eyeliner. I got more eyeliners that have the little, like, designs on the end, like my other one with the star. They have a whole bunch, like butterflies and stuff. So I've got two more things left. Oh, check me out. This is a, oh, it's mascara primer. The Colossal Big Shot mascara primer. I thought it was white mascara at the time. I'm learning as we go. Let me know what, what mascara primer is. I'm guessing you put it on before. Oh, look at this. 
this? See, this was unrelated. They just know I have acne automatically, probably staring at me through my phone. It's a little oil slick cover colored uh, like pimple thing. So I don't touch my face because I'm pretty sure that's why this has been here for like over a year because I have a bad habit of touching my face. So yeah, that's fun. And then the piece that I resistance. <gasps> my septum ring. Oh, hello. It's tinier than I thought. I'm not going to lie, I could have sworn I accidentally ordered an obnoxious pair of sunglasses, but I must have decided that that was not smart and took them out of my cart, which good for me. I'm proud of myself. I didn't need those ridiculous sunglasses. I have an addiction to sunglasses, sweaters. I will say if you guys have piercing jewelry and you go on Amazon and stuff like that, God, this, this is too tiny, I bet. Definitely check the sizes. I didn't. I don't know why. But they'll have like eight millimeters and 10 millimeters. And I found out that everybody definitely is different in that respect. And I don't even think this will fit in my nose, let alone my lip. Oh, I was so excited for this, you guys. I can't find any of my septum rings. And because I get MRIs so often, I have to take all my jewelry out. So that's why I have, you know, just a bare minimum amount of jewelry. Because it just, it just gets frustrating trying to take it in and out and out. It's very short. Yeesh. It's too short. <sighs> Even if I put the other ball on, it's just going to be like right in my nose. It's just going to be stuffing. That's too bad. To be honest, guys, I've been looking forward to the septum ring. That's what I get for not checking. Sad. <laughs> oh, well. Good thing it was cheap, right? Still sad. Oh, well, moving on. This is supposed to be a happy video. All right, so I feel kind of bad. I thought this was going to be a lot more exciting for you guys. Maybe it's because I need to put the makeup on. All right, let's see what kind of makeup we got. Maybe that, maybe something funny will come out of that. Hope you guys are all doing all right out there. I just, I really wanted to throw this video on here just in case any of you guys are having like a kind of rough middle of the week. I know the, the week gets long right about now for everybody. What do I have left here? My mess. And I just keep chucking stuff everywhere. Woohoohoo! Hand iron. Which one? Is this is the creature of the night. I would think I got a green one just because that seems to be the road we've been on. So I guess let's see what we got. Oh, wow. It smells like cake. I do not wear bright. I'm going to have to put my other mirror right here. I, I don't wear color lipstick so oh. this is pretty it said it was a, a matte i just think it's kind of fun because i don't wear colors like this and when you guys were talking about the mermaid makeup and i saw this come up and i'm like you know what that's gonna look really cool whoa what the heck is this Lip Plumping Booster. Oh, this is by the same brand. Hand Iron. Hand Iron. Okay. And these are from the same brand on Timu. Honestly, this smells like cake. Went on really easily. It smells so good. I was seeing if it dried yet. It's got a lot of glitter. It's a very pretty color. Heck. Do you work? Ah, oh, okay. Don't they know I'm... So oh, wow. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, this is fun, dude. Seriously, look at... Oh, this is strangely fun. All right, let's see if it, how bad this is going to be. The smell of this is definitely more like... I want to say like a tea tree oily. It's really fun to put on. I've gotten other lip plumping stuff. Since I don't wear a lot of colored lip gloss and stuff, I like to just have that kind of clear coat just to give them a little boost. Nothing crazy. Especially in this day and age, who isn't trying out lip plumpers? So let's see how long it takes this to burn. Or if it even does. I can feel the tingle. At least now I can see what it looks like with light lipstick. And this is the bottom with this over it. 
when I do wear lipsticks and stuff or even lip glosses, one of the things, one of the things that bugs me is that it dries here or in the corners of your mouth that bugs me. So this is fun. Let's see how much it starts to burn. It's, it's getting a little spicy. Why is it spicy? Here's a before. Let's see what they look like in a few. I do have places to go later, like picking up the kids from school. Oh, it's the same brand again. I don't think I've ever bought all the same. Oof, starting to... Okay, so that's how you know it's working. That's how you know a limb plumper is working. I'll rate it on us. It's not, it's burning, which means it's going to work. It's going to plump them up. I had some where the, the burn was not worth it. Look at Neon Lash Long Lasting Green Mascara. Are you kidding me? Now I'm thinking you're supposed to put this on before you put something like that on, right? I'm going to guess that's what we do. I I was thinking this was just white mascara, but uh, I'm correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because I don't know. That's why we're here to learn. <laughs> But uh, I'm guessing I could just wear this by itself, right? Ow. Oh, this is why I don't wear mascara. <laughs> yes, I know I could have curled my lashes because now it's bugging me. But Looks like I only bought two eyeliners because I don't need more than that. All I can see is white, white speckles. <clears throat> see, I can never just open a package normal, I swear. This says new on it. Oh, great. And then they got the... See, this ring is great. I'm here struggling trying to open this, and I look at the ring, and I think of you guys, and I'm like, that's right. That's right. Keep going. I'm trying to make sure I don't swear as much because my daughter, I don't want her to start copying me. What the French toast? Oh, this is cute. It's a little delicate butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly. I didn't do it right. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, I could see this being dangerous. Okay, so I had to run across the house for a minute and I think, and my lips have been burning this whole time and I think that it might work, it might have worked. So here's it before. Maybe it's just in my head, but when I look, they look bigger. <laughs> my bottom lip might be having the bigger issue here. <laughs> Let's try our, I think our primer has dried. Try our green mascara. Our neon. It's not going over the primer well. So I don't know, maybe I was supposed to use this by itself. But you would think that since it's a light green, you would want a primer to put over it. I see it. It's there. I get it. It's green. It's just like with hair dye, right? It looks like one color and you put it on and it's never as bright. But which eyeliner do we already use? Uh, it looks like I grabbed the butterfly. I thought I got the moon eyeliner, though, honestly. Uh, okay, now this one's red and it's hearts. Mm. Oh, that's cute. This is dangerous. You could be bored sitting there ready to do your makeup one day and turn around and... <laughs> this is the funnest day I've had this week. I, I grabbed these. I thought I got... So this one, they have it in like a, a star, which but I already have a star one, and they have a little crescent moon, but I guess I wanted hearts and butterflies. <laughs> hey, this is a new thing, man. People are tattooing like stars and stuff all over their face. So these are double tipped, which is why I become obsessed with these. And I guess they have in colors. So this is a red one, which is cool. I've never done a red eyeliner. Let's see. So this is a different brand that I normally get. You know, my other eyeliner video that I did. So this is a different brand. Let's see how this goes on. I think I'm going to go full. We already have a, a bunch of weirdly shaped freckles. So why not go big on the black eyeliner? That went on really nice and smooth and quick. 
I do like my one eyeliner pen that I showed you guys because it's a little uh, bigger. It's easier for me to handle. And it didn't dry out as fast as other ones. But this is going on really well. I can't really see much in the mirror I'm using because it's a little dusty because I was lazy and didn't clean it off. So, wow. Okay. I'm not upset about this at all. About it too much. Should we just go like here and go over or something and then like go out hmm. oh my god my my teenager is not gonna like me picking him up from school like this oh man this would probably not be a good day for me to have to meet his girlfriend's parents oh no i messed up because i was laughing and i have hooded eyes This stuff goes on really well. It's drying really well, and uh, this is really fun. I have like right here. I don't know if that was a good choice. It almost makes it look like my eyes are bleeding. Yeah, yeah, now that just looks like my eyes are bleeding underneath. <laughs> Funky! A lot going on right now. Got a lot going on in my face. Some green and black and red. This is what will happen if you're home alone and you play with this. So be careful with these, you guys. You'll go to put on a little bit of eyeliner and you come out looking like, like this. Hmm. Well, considering what we've done to my face, I guess I do want to try these, though. This one's pretty. I'll do this one. I'm using my fingers. It's horrible. But actually, if you don't have a brush, I like to use Q-tips. I always usually apply it. And obviously, I'm not doing this the way I should have. I'm not a makeup expert. I'm just having fun. It's so neat, all this stuff, uh, how creative people are with their makeup these days. And so, yeah, if there's any tips that you guys have for uh, people that do like to do this kind of makeup or with the stuff like that, please feel free. Go ahead. Comment below. All right. Well, that's literally all of the products except for my little camera that I wanted to do a sound test on here while I say bye to you guys. <laughs> what do you think? We have officially tried on everything that I got from Timo except for one thing. <laughs> oh yeah, this was fun. I had fun with this. I just can't decide if I'm gonna pick my son up from school looking like this or not. It's not April Fool's Day, so. To be honest, the longer I look at it, it's not so bad. I'm having the hardest time, I think, with the the colored lipstick and so much going, just going on on my eyes and stuff. Like, yeah, this is hilarious, you guys. I think this is really funny. You probably can't tell because I'm not laughing too hard because my mind keeps wandering. I'm kind of like slightly squirrel in my head because the colors are staring at me down there. So, well, just in case you want to go into Timo, I'll just link some of the stuff in the description below. I know it looks absolutely ridiculous, but... If you look past my horrible skills, uh, and you know, this eyeliner is not too bad. It dried right on. The eyeshadow went on. Everything was really cheap and it's fun. And this is still burning slightly, but it, it didn't get to the point where I couldn't handle it. I didn't even put any of this lip, this matte lipstick on the top. And when I did that, it, it really spread really nice and evenly. Everything seems cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get it to wear on a daily basis. I got it for fun, but honestly, for having fun, it, it doesn't look the worst. And maybe it looks like it's Halloween and I'm doing a, a, a costume, I guess. I like me now. I like me now. All right, I think I've had enough fun with this. I'm gonna just set up this camera really quick and so that I could have you guys just tell me in the comments below at the end of the video. Because I don't want to use that in the microphone for the entire next video while we're doing this big, big hair change and have the whole video be shot because of it, you know, like this is a little new thing, new thing I'm trying. So I'm just going to set it up real quick and just, uh, and I'll let you, and I'll be right back and I'll set it up. And then you guys can just give me your honest opinions on how you're feeling as far as how it's going to sound here in a minute. The, the tall ring light and stuff, I'm not worried about that because that's just something I'm going to set up you know, wherever I'm working to get better angles or when we're cutting the wigs. So that I'm not really worried about testing out as much because it was more about being able to 
have more room for activities. So much more room for activities. That was the whole point of being able to move it around, have it be taller and stuff. So I'm not too worried about that. I need to just test this out really quick as far as this little microphone goes. So, And, and if you guys haven't minded um, how the sound's coming out, then that's fine too. Honestly, all opinions welcome. Comment below. I just want to make hanging out enjoyable for you guys. Same, same with really quick while I'm thinking of it. Comment below if you guys have... If there's anything about my editing that's bothering your eyes at all, because I have a lot of fun editing. I'm learning as I go, just like with everything else we do. So I have a lot of fun editing because I feel like it brings me one step closer to you guys because, you know, I'm just really immersing myself in the video. I feel like I'm kind of re-back hanging out with you guys. So when I do all this editing and stuff, it it just really put it really makes me feel closer to you guys. So I want to make sure that you're comfortable as well. And I know sometimes when I'm editing... I'll add something in and it kind of bothers my eyes. Maybe it's the way that the light, the lighting switches, or maybe it's the way it zooms too fast. Um, so I try to keep a lot of like real big flashy lights or too much going on out of them just because if you're, maybe you're having a nauseous day, I don't want my video to totally throw you off. I know sometimes when I'm editing, I've had to fix little things like that that made me feel kind of sick. I'm just trying to think of all of you in mind so that, because I know we're all different. Everyone's going to have different opinions. So if there's anything that just you think I could maybe move or change a little bit that would if it's something that's actually bothering you and it's it's taking away from hanging out with us and being comfortable please let me know you know obviously i can only do so much to make everybody happy but i'm, I'm being so real here if you're uncomfortable and you like watching my videos please let me know I can't do anything unless you know we voice ourselves and how we're feeling so don't ever be scared to do that on this channel i, I just really want this to be a place that you can come and feel like yourself and never be scared to have an opinion or to ask to learn more. I found a lot in my life, I've always been scared to ask more questions so I can really truly understand something. And I don't know why that is. No, we shouldn't be so scared of wanting to, you know, learn more. We shouldn't be embarrassed of asking somebody that knows maybe how to do something, how to do it for ourselves. You know, it's, I, I get stuck in my own head. I don't know if any of you feel this way, but if you do, just know. Don't feel uncomfortable. Don't be scared. If you are uncomfortable leaving main comments, I do I do have my Instagram on here. It's just, that's just more of a place to go where I try to put pictures. If you guys need to direct message or reach out because you don't feel comfortable posting on my YouTube, absolutely go over there and direct message me. I do try to check in there and see if there's anybody that, that's going through anything or anybody that needs to talk. So just know that's open. That's at least for now, like the best way I, I believe that we can get that done if you guys feel uncomfortable posting in front of everybody. And to all of you that have been posting what you're going through, just and, and just really, really letting me know who you are and what you're going through, just so much love to you. You're so strong. You guys are all so beautiful and strong. I, I open up my phone and I just... I, <laughs> Anyone in the room with me can see me physically change, you know, I just, I'm just like, I get this look on my face, I just, my heart swells up, it just feels like, like the Grinch's heart when it turned and it's about to explode. I just feel all this just, just love and I just feel so blessed and I just feel so happy that this channel is turning into such a beautiful place and, and I'm so glad that all of you have found this channel. I should have saved all this cheesy stuff for the end because I always can't help it. Every time I start to think about you guys, it, it, there's just not enough words. This has just been absolutely amazing and I'm looking forward to so much more and I just hope you all keep hanging in there. I'm going to go set up this camera so I'm going to do a little test test one, two. And I guess I don't really have much of an outro after that because uh, I just talked your ear off because I couldn't help it. All right, so I'm going to set this up. We'll do a little check, check, one, two, comment below at the end. And also, don't forget, we're putting Vivids in. Like, literally, it should be out on Friday. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Nothing like testing boundaries. So let's do this, guys. There is directions. Remember, anytime you're putting something together, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. I still do that every time I have to do anything. So that's recording through the headset. So let me know if this sounds different or better or if it's all the same to you. The stand is a little bit shorter, which seems fine. Now that we have the stand up one, that should be fine. I am not setting this up right now. <laughs>
Actually, this doesn't look like there's as much to set up, but I, dude, I feel like I just accomplished something with this, setting this up. It was like when I first put my son's bed together all by myself, and I was so, there was like blood, sweat, and tears, and I was so proud of myself. And he goes to sit on it, and it breaks into a million pieces. I should have known that the wood wasn't strong enough if I'm screws, if I was able to screw the screws in as easily as I did. Anyways, let me know how this, how the, the sound sounds. And if, and I don't have batteries in the light, but I have white lighting in here already. I got light bulbs for a while ago. Cause if you guys remember, oh my gosh, my old videos, I, it was just, we don't need to go there, but oh man, I had no air conditioning. I had bad lighting. The power was going on and off. I mean, that was not fun. All while I had a, a an infant, so that wasn't fun. That's not how the sound sounds to you. This is just all about uh, this is just all about making you guys comfortable. That's about it. So if you guys can't really tell and there's not much of a difference, then that's totally fine. Let me know. Then we don't have to even worry about this. They do sell like other microphones that are smaller. For maybe when I'm farther away, and, and like the, like I said, this is Timu, so normally I would be like, okay, it's gonna be a while, but this is stuff that's really attainable through Timu, and I know it's not top quality, but I just I don't think you really need to go top quality just to to make something comfortable, right? Like I'm all about finding the deals and being thrifty. Sometimes nicer stuff works better. Sometimes it works exactly the same. The point is those they do have like smaller microphones. Those are cheap too. That. I could do for maybe when I'm farther away or when I'm going to be cutting the wigs and stuff like that. So you guys can hear me a little better that way. But as far as it goes, let me know if this makes a difference or not. I could put batteries in the light for maybe next time we're doing more up close stuff too. Um, I don't know. Just try new things. This is all about trying and learning and growing, you know, so comment below and also comment below if you have any last minute guesses about what the hair color is going to be. If you guys want to have fun and throw out some more guesses, go ahead. Because it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. So I'm going to get off of here. These are not irritating me. My lips. Uh, I, I feel like the, the lip plumper worked really good. And everything is fun. And, and I'm not upset at all with anything I got. So I had fun. I feel like I was just whimsical enough today where I feel ready to tackle what we're going to be doing. So I will see you guys so soon. Stay awesome, stay you, and thank you so much, as always, for existing and being here on the channel. If you're new and you hung out this long, subscribe and hang out with us if you want, because it's it's really growing into such a beautiful place, and it's because of all of you. So if you're new here, just know that we're all just trying to get through the day just like everybody else. So if this video even made you for a moment feel a little at peace or made you laugh or if it drove you absolutely crazy, then I totally understand and much love to you. Don't be scared to share your comments, guys. We're all in this together. I hope your the middle of your week doesn't suck too bad. And besides that, I'll be checking my comments because you guys are all mean the world to me. And I hope you're all going through the best of the best you could possibly do right now. <sighs> Phone ran out of memory, but yeah, anyway, so I will see you guys soon. I don't have the mic on here right now, obviously, so. Let me know what you guys thought of that little clip right before this. Much love. You're all awesome. I'm becoming way too used to this being my face. <laughs> so I should probably do something about that because I'm a little too comfortable. A little too comfortable. Anyways, much love and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, with me. I'm so glad I ended up opening this today because I just feel... I don't know, so much lighter and just ready. So yes, I'll see you guys soon. Please don't stop being you because you guys seriously are so inspirational. I cannot get over it. So keep going. Toodles. Oh my God, my son hates when I say toodles. <laughs> toodles anyways. See ya. Have a beautiful day.